Hi there, Martin Schlecker from MPIA in Heidelberg. I'm a PhD student with Hubert Klar and Thomas Henning and I study exoplanet demographics using planet population synthesis. In the work I'm presenting, we study the relations between inner super-Earth and outer giant planets that live in the same system. And we were wondering, is there a difference in the composition of a super-Earth when there's a cold Jupiter in the system compared to when there is none? We found that indeed there is such a difference and it lies in the properties of the protoplanetary disk in which the planets have formed. In a nutshell, if you have a moderately massive disk, 100 Earth masses or so, we see that primarily icy cores form just beyond the ice line. They migrate to detectable distances and we end up with systems of volatile rich super-Earths of low bulk density. No giants are formed. If you have on the other hand a rather massive disk, several hundreds of Earth masses or more, you can form planetary cores further in and they migrate inwards to become dry super-Earths. But the conditions are also right to form giant planets further out and they prevent icy cores from migrating inwards. In this case we get high density super-Earths in the inner system plus a distant giant planet. From this follows a testable prediction. If you find an inner super-Earth with, with a high density, you are more likely to find a cold Jupiter in the same system as well. If you want to learn more about the implications of this prediction, have a look at the full poster PDF and do make sure to check out the paper. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a message. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you around at the meeting.